hey what's going on youtube what's going on everybody welcome back to the channel how are you guys doing out there today man so today we're diving into a group called the hollies and this is the air that i breathe all right haven't ever heard of the group or this song this one is a donation request via buy me a coffee so thank you so much for supporting the channel in that way uh for the requester they didn't know if i was taking donation requests or not right now because they couldn't find it down in the descriptions um so they took a shot on it. I definitely am still taking donation requests. So thank you for the support. Really appreciate that. Um, but I'm still taking them. So thank you so much. Can't promise they'll be around forever. So if you're interested, uh, take use of them while they're around. All right. Thank you so much. So with this one, once again, the Hollies, the air that I breathe. I don't know what sound we're getting into. So we'll just get this started and check it out. I know another one they said that they were interested in me checking out at some point was uh, Nazareth. I want to say it was a group's name. Let's go ahead and check. Nazareth love hurts uh i want to say wasn't this song a part of like a tv show or something like that i know i've heard nazareth uh nazareth love hurts um but like many songs on this channel i have never taken them sat down and actually paid attention to what's going on i've heard them in, in passing or in some other way without um actually focusing on what was going on so i will uh, try to keep that one in mind for a future and see if i can get around to going and doing that one so today we're checking out the hollies so the air that i breathe so let's go ahead and jump into this one man see what we're getting into today Thank everyone here for being here and watching this reaction. We really appreciate that. Let's hit the play, man, and see what's up. Here we go. Radiohead was inspired by these guys. Yes, to love you. All I 
that was enjoyable, man. This this gentleman's voice, whoever's singing, I don't know if y'all have heard of Radiohead, but man, um, I don't know too much about Radiohead, but the songs that I've heard definitely reminded me of the style of singing this gentleman does, man. I'm just like, man, I feel like he had to be tapping into the Hollies if this is kind of their traditional sound right here. Uh, just gave me those kind of vibes, man. For this song, it's got a heavy contrast to the other song that was suggested too. They said, hey, if you've heard the Hollies, take a listen to Nazareth, right? Love Hurts. And where you've got this one, this guy is saying he doesn't need a wish, right? If you offered him a wish, he wouldn't take it. He's completely at peace with the love that he gets from this lady. Uh, now me, I'm, I'm madly in love with my wife, right? But I'm taking some wishes, you know what I'm saying? You're giving me some wishes, man. I, I'll wish for uh, my house to be paid off or, so, you know, for uh, the car to be paid off, things like that. Like, we've got wishes that would make our life a little bit better. You know what I'm saying? So, um, I don't know, but this gentleman must be on a different plane uh, because he is just taking away, you know, the air that I breathe. That's all he needs to keep surviving, to keep loving his girl, man. That's all that he needs in the world. So that's a whole different plane. You know, I'm, if I'm looking at my wife, I'm saying, hey, you better take them wishes too. You know what I'm saying? Our love is our love is doing just fine, but let, let's build upon that. You know, let's keep building upon that. So, uh, but interesting, interesting. So once again, very uh, in heavy contrast to the song about Love Hurts. So maybe this is the beginning of the relationship and maybe Love Hurts is the end of it, man. And that's how the story ends. But um, for these songs right here. All right, so diving into this uh, background right here, I wanted to quickly just get into what instrumentation we had there, man, because that was a lot of great stuff, Orca uh, orchestral arrangements, and that's what I heard, man, giving me, obviously, the only band I, I listen to on a regular that is incorporating that level, that, that those kind of sounds, I would say, is like ELO. ELO hits it really quick, and these guys, once again, uh, well, not once again, but another group that has orchestral arrangement. Am I even saying that? Orchestral arrangements. There we go. They have unknown 40-piece orchestra, man. That is crazy. That's additional musicians and production staff. So you've got Alan Clark on lead harmony and backing vocals. Tony Hicks on harmony, backing vocals, electric lead guitar, acoustic rhythm. Uh, it says uncertain. Terry Sylvester on harmony, backing vocals, acoustic rhythm, guitar. Bobby Elliott drums, additional overdub tom toms. Is that that kind of drumming that I'm hearing in the background that um, do doom, 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 you know, maybe so. I've been wanting to take some time to actually understand the drum kit a little bit better. So when I hear certain things, I can attribute it to, okay, that's the sound on the drumming that we're hearing. And uh, at the end here, we've got Bernie Calvert on bass. Okay, so checking out this one. This song was released in 1974, man. Older than I would have thought. I don't know why I was thinking maybe we're looking at about the 80s time frame. This is 1974, and um, this was recorded in London. And, of course, the album version, it sounds like, is what we heard right here. Songwriters are Albert Hammond. And Michael Hazelwood, neither one that I see as musician players on this group. So let's let's see what that's about. All right, the air that I breathe is a ballad written by British Gibraltarian singer songwriter Albert Hammond and the English songwriter Mike Hazelwood. It was initially recorded by Hammond on his debut album "It Never Rains in Southern California." It was a major hit for the Hollies in early 1974, reaching number two. So did they say when they wrote it? Oh yeah, 1972. Sorry, so it was written in 1972. It was a major hit in 1974, so two years later, reaching number two on the UK singles chart. It was the Hollies' last major hit. The English rock band Radiohead reused a chord progression and melody of the air that I breathe for their 1992 song Creep. So really, okay, so Creep I have heard, man. Radiohead right here connected. Uh, just by chance, man, I heard this sound, and it reminded me of Radiohead. Go figure, Radiohead did did use parts of this in their song and i didn't make that connection at all i didn't recognize that any of this sound in this song felt like radiohead or creep to me okay it was more the singing that made that connection but that is interesting man the audio engineer for the air that i breathe was done by alan parsons in an interview parsons mentioned that eric clapton said the first note of the air that i breathe had more soul than anything he had ever heard man uh, for Creep, the English rock band Radi uh, Radiohead reused the chord progression and melody of The Air That I Breathe for their 1992 song Creep. After Rounder Music, the publisher of The Air That I Breathe, took legal action, Hammond and Hazelwood received co-writing credits and a percentage of the royalties. Hammond said Radiohead were honest about having reused the composition, and so he and Hazelwood accepted only a small part of the royalties. All right, well, there you go, man. That is a cool 
connection just by chance me hearing these songs and once again not even based off the chord progression or really maybe it's the melody maybe it's the melody that did it for me but it's just the way they sing um their voices and yeah i guess it would be the melody is what was the giveaway for me but not even comparing it to creep once again i've heard like at least two more songs from radiohead than creep and this just gave me those kind of vibes so thank you for putting me on the hollies man this thing was nice and let me know is this kind of a staple of their sound or if this is a little bit uh broken off the beaten path of what they typically do but this sounded nice this was a nice song to get into the climax was amazing and once again the orchestral parts of this i'm down with man i'm always down for additional uh instrumentation in the music it just it makes it so much more full of flavor it's like you have soup and you put salt and pepper in it but maybe that's not enough man maybe you need to add some more seasoning some more spices and that's what those instruments do for me on a track is sure you can have a good flavor but you can have an even better flavor when you're throwing in more instrument arrangements man so i love that part i really like that about music when they incorporate it that way and i, I didn't finish reading your request off so i wanted to do that um i do that with most people on this channel i try to read off the requests uh so it says both songs uh both are amazing songs of course the two that were mentioned in this channel are on this reaction that music lovers need to hear in their lifetime, right? Peace and enjoy your reactions more than I can express. Peace, dude. Yo, appreciate it, Deb. That's what keeps me coming back. It originally became about me just listening to music. It is still heavily about me listening uh, to original music and first-time reactions, but it's become more about a connection that I build with you guys as well, uh, just letting me know that it puts a smile on y'all face, that y'all appreciate it. That means a lot to me. That means a lot to me because uh, when I started reacting, I thought it'd be easy. I was just like, hey, you just sit down and you listen to a song and you tell people what you think about it. But it's a lot harder than I gave it credit for at the time because um, I would say 40% of what I do here is actually what you get to see right here, me listening to the song. The other 60% is the pain in the butt. That is the editing, the publishing, the creating thumbnails. Oh man, it's more work than I understood at the time. But it's worth it uh, because it still gets out a good product that I think you guys enjoy and have a good, great time with. And uh, we get to connect via that way. And once again, man, it's it's putting joy in some people's days. And uh, that goes a long way. That goes a very long way. So thank you for enjoying the channel. Thank anybody out there watching and enjoying the channel. I really appreciate you guys so much. Thank you so much. Okay, there might have been a quick cut right here. It's because I forgot to check out the Hollies. So let's go ahead and jump into the Hollies real quick. Uh, they're from Manchester, England. They started in 1962, and it looks like they are still rocking out today, so you can still see them out on the road, guys. Uh, they do rock and pop. Uh, they've got a list of Holly's past members, so, you know, that is, um, they've probably had quite a lot of rotation going on with members. It looks like they put out a string of hits, it says, in the 60s, including Just One Look, Here I Go Again, I'm Alive, Look Through Any Window, I Can't Let Go, Bus Stop, Atlantic Ocean, Stop, Stop, Stop. Man, these guys have a list. One of the biggest lists I've seen uh, regarding groups that I haven't ever heard of before. So that is pretty impressive. That's really good. Uh, looks like up here it's saying that the Hollies are English rock band, of course, formed in 1962. One of the leading British groups of the 60s into the 70s. They're known for their distinctive three-part vocal harmony style. Alan Clark and Graham Nash founded the band as Mercy Beat type group in Manchester. Although some of the band members came from towns further north in East Lan uh, Lancashire. Maybe I'm saying that right. Nash left the group in 1968. So, dude, he was actually with this group um, for, it looks like, what, six years. Um, and he went off to form Crosby, Stills, and Nash. So, very cool. I didn't know that about Graham Nash, that he was a part of this group. So, hey, something new right there, man. Uh, one, that, that's, that's big time. That's big time. So, thank you for putting me onto this one. Really appreciate that. So there goes a little bit about the Hollies. Now, now we can enter the, the outro of the video. So, All right, so if you guys enjoyed, please let me know by liking, subscribing. Check out the descriptions down below for other ways you can help the channel, including becoming a member here on my YouTube or my Patreon for as little as three bucks, man. That's a huge way to support me if you're enjoying the content, all right? There's also uh, information down below for ways you could uh, donation request if you're looking into that, all right? Thank you guys so much for tuning in, and I'll see you on the next one, man. Peace.